Hi everyone, it's Sandra from Inspired Keyboardist, and today I just want to share very quickly about um, how to choose chords and chord voicings, chord structures um, when we play a song. Um, there is actually a lot going on when you choose a chord. So I'm just going to be using um, Israel Houghton's Jesus Be The Center. Uh, and here is a negative example first. I'm playing in the key of A major. So Jesus at the center of it all. Jesus at the center of it all. What's wrong with that? I'm actually playing the correct chords, but the problem is that I had a lot of movement going on at my topmost note. Okay, so what topmost note? Well, guess what? Do you know that whatever chord you play, there is an unknown melody line going on right at the top? Um, the topmost note with that highest frequency, it reaches our ears and connects in a way that becomes a melody line. So for example, Jesus at the center of it all. For example, if you play that, and my chords were And so if you were to analyze my topmost notes for those three chords were so there's a right and then so that would be and then and then it would be this this would be the topmost notes and there's there's already a lot of movement going on just at the very first phrase of the verse there is which um, is a lot of movement if you're just gonna keep using a lot of um, chords that move so much. Now, here's a better way. Uh, try not to move your right hand's top note as far as possible. So this is how I'm going to cho choose my chords when I play Jesus at the center. Jesus at the center of it all. Go ahead and move stuff down here, but keep this as stable as you can. Jesus at the center of So here I moved it a little bit. Look, it's just from A to G sharp. It's really a half step. And so after that, from beginning to the end, it will always be, it's always been you, Jesus, Jesus. Well, you're thinking, well, that's going to be a little bit boring, isn't it? Um, uh, create a different version of it at the second time. The first time, you remember, it's always a little bit still. So we're going to do Jesus at the center of it all again, and this time you could in incorporate a little bit more movement in the middle parts between the, vo the voices here, but still, still maintain the top note as um, at the same spot as possible, as much as possible. So choose your chords um, in those in those shapes as much as possible. Here's the second time I'm going to sing the verse. Jesus at the center of it all. Jesus at the center of it all. Introduce a little bit of um, uh, interjections. From beginning to the end, it will always be notice that I've got kind of like a new top note. It's, I've moved from this note to here. It's always been you, Jesus. Still keeping to this note. Jesus, nothing else matters. Nothing in this world will do. Still keeping to this note. I'm not going to move it so much. Jesus, you at the 
it's about time for me to change this because we're getting very stale of this. I'm getting stale of it, so here's where I change it again. Oh. I do my verse and of course I'm adding a whole lot more movement to create contrast from the first time that we sing the verse and um, well I still kept my top line at E I didn't shift it around at all and um, and let's see how we do it at the next part maybe something different like from my heart yep that's the bridge so from my let's say it's a it's a it's a quiet version. From my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about you. same top note um, and that just creates an element of calmness so try that if you haven't already been doing that just figure out what chords flow nicely um, to each other and um, I really hope this helps thanks for watching <laughs>